It looks like we've arrived at the center. Finally. They weren't what wrong. This thing is huge. A building? It wouldn't be the first building we've walked through in this place. Maybe some sort of device? Wait a minute. That looks like a Zohar. What do you mean? I don't know. It's just... Yes? Well, if this is really the center, it's possible that it may be of some importance to the Gnosis. But this, of course, is from our frame of reference, so we could be completely mistaken. In other words, if that is a man-made object, it could be a ship or some other wreckage that was swallowed just as we were. What about us? Are we going to end up like that too? We'll be sure to get out of here before that happens. Cosmos, what's the Elsa's current position? Location unknown. I have lost its signal. Lost? The Gnosis magnetic and gravitational fields have become unstable near the center. The last known coordinates point to a location on the lower level, 300 meters below our present position. That's pretty close. Shall we go? Yes. Let's just hope that the Elsa isn't in the same condition as the wreckage around here. This guy's not in a great state either. <laughs> to test your loyalty to the organization. Nothing more. The citizens will be affected, whether you succeed or not. Do you regret your decision? No. They're of no consequence to me, nor to our organization, or anyone else. <laughs> well said, Cherenko. That's creepy. <laughs> yeah, he's not having a great day. Or a great life, for that matter. Well, all we can do is go in here. And keep on going. <laughs> Ooh, new enemies. Because there is more to this place. It never ends. Lizard Man. That's weirdly generic. Well, whatever they are, they're about to be dead. <laughs> Poison. I wonder if you can poison the mechs. Apparently you can poison Cosmos, which is which is odd, considering you know she's meant to be a robot. Ouch, it does a lot of damage. Ooh. 
Okay, these guys are tanky. Of course they are. Whew, poison is nasty in this one. It, it does a lot of damage. New attack, Thermal Blast. Well, that sounds fun. <laughs> Vicious fire attack. Ooh. Can I level that up a little bit? At least get rid of the weight. Cool. Let's bring in Ziggy for a bit. Just because I haven't had him in yet. Can we actually swap out Xion? You can. That's interesting. I'm just wondering. I'm wondering who I should have as my main party for a while. Obviously on Cosmos in, because she's great. <laughs> she's like the best character we have right now. Chaos is interesting. He has the mech, so he has uh, some versatility. Xion's the one that's just not great at much yet. But I do want to put her in again, because she does have a new move to test out. So I want at least one person that has a mech in battle, just because it does help quite a bit. You'll bring in Ziggy for a bit. Even though I don't think I upgraded his equipment, did I? I only had it. Yeah. Or I can give you something else. No, the jelly is pretty good for you, actually. Dexterity, though? I don't, <laughs> to be fair, I don't actually know what the stats do. Uh, I don't think we've come across much beam type damage here. Yeah, I don't know, we'll keep it as is. We'll give him a shot, and see how it goes. Because I don't think characters gain experience or any uh, points or anything while they're in the reserves, so... I probably will be trying to swap around characters when not possible. The problem is though with Momo is that she's just not very good at kind of anything. So she doesn't have any attacks really. And the only ability she does have is putting... Uh, Mech pilots to sleep, which is very situation. So I don't know. Especially at this point where enemies have so much health and they do so much damage. I just think having Momo in the party would be a bit of a liability. I suppose that's why they give you so many of those upgrade items. Because then even if I'm not using her in battle. I can still give those items to her and level her up that way. Hmm. Worth considering, I suppose. Nice! The enemies have been exterminated. Or Hemlock, which I think is another trade item. Frame repairs. Always nice to get some of those. Okay, they're in a line. <sighs> What's uh? Can't check what um was on. What new ability was on? Wasn't square something. Right. Forgot how annoying these things were to fight. This is one of those weird things in RPGs. It's like, you really would expect status effects like Poison and Sleep to not affect Cosmos and Ziggy. And, to be fair, most of our party. Because <laughs> the majority of our party is robots. 
who don't need to sleep and probably don't get food poisoning. There it is. <sighs> Forgot how to activate the ability for a second there. Not bad. I like it. But man, those guys are annoying. They can sleep, they can poison, and they're friggin' hard to hit. <sighs> Was it worth it? Kind of. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Okay. Take advantage of the field effect. Which I don't exactly know what it does, but I presume it does something. Oh, not so bad. Could do with a heal though. Luckily, we have so many ether packs. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. Through this dungeon that never ends. Ooh, a save point. No shop, though. No, no shop point. That's unfortunate. Anyway. Well, that seems like maybe where we need to go. So what's in here? Oh, just some monsters having uh, an office job. All right. Someone ate all the coffee beans. Someone didn't take out the trash. Nothing to worry about there. Wait, this place just keeps going. Yeah, this is one of those games where it's just like, pretty much no matter what, I get lost. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. Because now I'm like, there's stairs up, which also seems like, oh, that's where we're meant to go. Then there's this over here, and this seems like where we're meant to go. I was half expecting it to be another door over here. What happens when we do this? Not nothing. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so that wasn't anything anyway. Sure, why not? 